Sean, thanks for coming to the clinic. I hope you got a lot out of it. Um, we're going to start off with your underwater video here, and I, I want to comment on uh, the pole, basically. Uh, first of all, I'd get a pull buoy and put that between your legs to help keep the legs up. Then we can focus on, on your stroke. Um, the one thing you've got going on is the your, your, you're just yanking your arm down the pole. So you're putting your arm out in front and you're pushing it down, just pushing it back and through from the top of your shoulder. You're not pulling it back from down from your down from your lats and your hips. All right, and particularly on the on the uh, left arm here. See how the left arm just sort of comes down there and pulls. You see where you're starting to pull from. See the shoulders real low when you're starting your pull. You're just pushing the arm down. You're never getting a catch. You're never getting any hold of the water. You can actually see yourself. You're really not moving through the water with the left arm. Your right arm has a little bit of a catch and is using a little bit of the hips for the pull, but the left arm has no catch and there's no connection to the hip at all with that. Look at the difference. See where the hips, see how the hips are rotating on the right, right there and the left side. Your pull is occurring before you even rotate back. So you're pulling there and then you're starting to rotate halfway through the pull. So you're not connecting the pull to the hips. So you got to think about pulling from front to back on the stroke instead of instead of pushing from top to bottom. Don't push the arm through. Pull it from way deep down in your lats. Pull it back. All right. Really try to connect that way. All right. I mean, you're doing everything else right. Uh, you just don't have that connection uh, holding that water, and particularly on that left arm. That left arm, uh, you could you could swim uh, just putting that left arm out in front and go right arm and go faster. I think because you're not getting anything from that left arm because you're pulling. Look where the shoulders when you're pulling. It's down underneath you. There's no power there at all. Zero power when you're pulling with a low shoulder. You got to have a high shoulder. So you've got to really focus on rotating up that shoulder up before you start your pull. All right, here's your above water. Above water looks good. Your elbows are high uh, in that recovery area. Hands are going in, maybe a little bit out in front of the face. Just a little bit of nitpicking there. You can move them out just an inch or two. So they're going in straight out from the shoulders. Uh, above water, you look fine now. All right, so really you want to focus on not trying to when you reach out in front and start your pull, don't push the hand down. Don't put the don't imagine pushing the hand down and if you feel on the top of your shoulder, that's what you're doing. You want to pull back and feel it from your lat. Alright? And you've got to pull back and rotate and twist the hips at the same time so it's all connected. So hopefully that advice will help a little bit and I wish you best of luck.